Hi guys, welcome back to my channel F Sheikh Excel Master and I am your friend Faraz Sheikh and today we are going to see the different types of operator in Excel. This is a very important video. These operators will be very helpful in our future examples which we will be doing it and the same we will be using it in our formulas. So let us quickly see what are the different types of operators we have. We have basically arithmetic operator, comparison operator, text concatenation, reference operator. In arithmetic operators, we have different operators which is basically used to perform some mathematical or numerical results by adding them, subtracting them, multiplication, division, percentage. These are the signs which represent the type of action it will do and any of the formulas in starting in Excel is always starting with an equal to sign. So if we need a result equals to 3 plus 3, it will, we need to mention equal to, otherwise you will not get the result. Plus sign is for addition, minus is for subtraction, asterisk is for multiplication, forward slash is for division, percentage sign for percentage and caret sign for an exponential. So let us go further and see what is a comparison operator. This is a very important operator friends. So please pay special attention on this one. Basically comparison operator is comparing the two values and giving us a logical result whether it is true or false. It will either tell it is right or wrong. And these kind of operations We'll be using it in many of our examples or many of our uh, functions like if function and a function or function to do some kind of a logical test and get the value in return. So here we'll see a very small example where we'll be saying like equals to 1 equals to 1. Yes, this is true. If 1 equals to 2, it is not true because 1 is not equal to 2 it is 1 equals to 1 only so this is what we want 1 equals to 1 greater than so 2 is greater than 1 oops I forgot the equal to sign here true that is true and if I take 1 is greater than 1 it will give me a false why because it should read greater than 1 that's why if we mention here like in this formula if we mention equals to then it will return value as 1 why it is happening like this as false because it is going to read only the value which is greater than 1 it will not consider the 1 so if you want to consider the 1 then you have to mention equal to then it will give you true similar the case you have for less than equals to 1 is less than 2 that is true and a similar way if we wanted to mention 1 equals to 1 is less than or equals to 1 that will give us true or 1 is greater than or equal to 2 it is also true but it's not condition is false now when we are changing 3 is less than or equal to 2. No, it is not less than. It is greater than. And not equal to is the condition which will be very helpful. So let us understand. Equals to 1 is not equals to 1. That is not correct. That is false. 1 is equal to 1. Yes, so it is false. So 1 is not equal to 2. That is true. It is not equal to 2. So these are the basic operators which logic is very important to understand so that we can use them in our future all the examples and if functions and other places. So now let us see how to remember them. Many of my friends said me that for us is that there is an easy way to remember them. Yes there is an easy way. I can show you the trick how it is. You must be wondering what are these two emojis doing over here but remember these two emojis plays a very important role now. So let me explain you how we have less than and we have greater than. 
so to remember less than consider it is your left hand and greater than consider it is your right hand now to understand less than if you have any query which is saying that one is less than then you raise up your left hand in a victory way and shift it in this way so this is less than and right hand which is greater than you shift it in this way so you can remember less than and greater than so you have to make a victory sign and then tilt it so you get the less than sign and for greater than sign which is always on the right hand and you get the greater than sign so I hope this trick is very helpful for you because when I learn I use this trick and now I am very much familiar with the less than and greater than sign so I hope this trick will help you to remember it and once you are regularly doing comparison operators then it will become very easy so text concatenation operator text concatenation is basically starting with an ampersand sign ampersand basically connects the two or uh, it concatenates the two values and uh, in a text or in a cell so that we can get a connected or we can get a one string so which will we'll be using it in our future uh, examples to see how are we going to use them now here we come with the reference operator reference operators we have colon comma and space colon basically represent the range like I have selected this range f32 to f35 this is my range it will be representing in the column and comma is basically union operator which combines the range like I have selected this range which is from f32 to f35 then I have selected this range from f uh, from g32 to g35 so I need if I need to do the sum of these two range I can do it with the help of the union operator and another is called intersection operator is represented by space okay so which returns the reference of the cell common to the range in a formula this will be seeing it in our future videos that how the intersection operator is working so I can explain you in detail about that which basically returns the intersects the two cell and it returns the value like I have a value in the cell F34 uh, and I would like to return that value so with the help of the intersection operator we can do that now parenthesis is nothing but brackets which we say for parenthesis where we are using it to make understand the excel the part of formula which has to be calculated first this is very important when we are doing any calculations in the excel otherwise the output will be wrong the result what we'll be getting will be wrong i would like to extend the session little further where we'll be seeing bodmas and pandas yeah, these two bodmas and pandas i know you guys are very well aware about that and we are been using regularly during our mathematics yes now in excel we have to remember whenever we do calculations we need to follow bodmas or pandas basically it will has to go to first brackets do the operations what is there in the brackets then it has to go for the exponential then division multiplication addition and subtraction now if i have a range of data over here example if i do equals to 4 minus 6 6 into 4 it will give me 20 minus 20 there is nothing wrong but the method of doing the calculation is equals to 4 bracket 4 minus 6 bracket into 4 it is 8 the if you see both the calculations are same but why this has been wrong because the order we did this operation is incorrect because it has not gone to the bracket the board mass rule which is there it has not followed that so that's why we got an answer 20 which is incorrect the order of this operation has to be get followed like bracket first 
and then it has to go for the multiplication so here we get the correct answer so i hope guys you like this video so please do subscribe to my channel and a soft copy will be available for you for free of download on my facebook group page so you can download it from there so if you have any queries please do write back to me and i will try my best to get it as soon as possible i hope you like this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe the channel and signing off for the day your friend f shake excel master